Welcome back to A Late Show, everybody. She is the two-time Academy Award winner you know from movies like Blue Jasmine, Ocean's 8, and Lord of the Rings. She now stars in the new series, Mrs. America. Please welcome our guest tonight to A Late Show, Kate Blanchett. Hey, Kate, thanks so much for being... Oh, sorry. Thank you so much for being, first of all. And second, <laughs> thank you so much for being here. Where are we catching you? Where, where are you in the world? I am um, in the UK, in our home in the country, on my way to bed. So, what? Those are yeah. your pajamas? Yeah. Well, I've come from bed this morning and I'm on my way to bed. I've completely lost track of time. Do you ever, do you ever get out of the pajamas? Not, not lately, no. There doesn't seem a lot of point particularly when you're going up to feed the pigs, feed the children. I've done, I can't tell you how many loads of laundry. Today was change the bed day, so it didn't seem a lot of point. That is a big day. I gotta say- Wait, what are, are you real... wearing? What, what am I? I, I, I Stephen Colbert? I'm wearing a checked shirt and some bedroom slippers. Oh, don't. But if it would make you more comfortable, I could get in pajamas too, because I'm right next to my bedroom here. Would that you... would make me feel more comfortable. Okay, hold on. Jim, can we, can you pause for a second? I'll go get my- here, we'll pull this up in, in time or something like that. Just a, just a second. Just a second. I'll be right there. Hold on one second. Oh, okay. Okay. This is really exciting. <laughs> oh, they're not plaid, are they? Oh, baby. <laughs> That was sweet. <laughs> okay, so, you know, you've got four kids at home, right? Last time I counted. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Uh, are you homeschooling? I'm, I'm homeschooling, well, they're actually on holidays. So, um, yeah, I mean, I do, I do have a profound respect, I always have for teachers, but, you know, the... the I am, I'm more like the, the homeroom teacher who has no particular skill, but I can corral people into, into doing things. So, mm -hmm. I mean, my 11 year old, my five year old, frankly, I've has surpassed me in her, in her algebraic skills. So I'm not a lot, I'm not a lot of use. I'm okay with geography. Okay. But, um, they all seem to not like geography, mm -hmm. but no, what, what I have, what I have been doing, I've, because the kids are on holidays for, for Easter, I've been clearing out the attic. And I, you know, and now that I'm at home, I can't remember we, whether we talked about it when we, when we, when we last went, but we certainly have talked about it, that on the Lord of the Rings, yes. I had We have my talked about the Lord problems. of the Rings together. I promise you we've done that. I know. And so I was looking for my ears, for my elf ears, and I couldn't find them. And I, I know the kids have hobbit feet somewhere. And I thought, oh, I'd love to show them to you. Couldn't find them, but I did find <sighs> Toriel's fighting blades. Wow. Pretty cool. Those are amazing. I mean, some people stole toilet paper, but I got these. And the wait, you have to, wait, you have Toriel's fighting blades? Why do you have yeah. Toriel's fighting blades? Um, well, Why doesn't Evangeline know. Lilly have them? Uh, well, I don't know. Maybe I should. Actually, you did not see those. Don't, don't speak to Evangeline Lilly anytime soon. And you know how that Thor film was shut down in Australia? It wasn't anything to do with COVID-19. It's yes. because I got the hammer. You have Mjolnir? I have Mjolnir here. And I can look, look how easy I can look at it. So I looked for all of these things for you, but I, so I couldn't find the ears, but I did find the hammer. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, thank you so very that's much. What, that's what I've been doing. I've been doing a lot of cleaning with the kids, cleaning out the attic. I have a question for you that you might be able to help me with. You played Bob Dylan. I know. In I'm Not There, you played Bob Dylan. And I've got a beef with Bob Dylan right now. I wanted to do a parody of the Subterranean Homesick Blues in response to Bob Dylan putting out this new album about the death of John F. Kennedy and the coronavirus. Oh, and he will he not let me do it. He will well, not let me do it. So what, what you've got inside of his head, you're a good enough actor to be able to understand where he's coming from. Why wouldn't Bob let me do it? I think it's the word parody. You might have, <laughs> if you said you want to inhabit a celebration. A, cel a cel Words matter to Dylan. <laughs> Damn poets you, and their words. I want to make fun of your song. You know? <laughs> I want to personally Maybe. mock you and your entire work. Do you have a favorite Dylan lyric? I think it's, it's some of us are prisoners and some of us are gods, hmm. I guess. 
But I've I mean, always loved look, uh, from Tambourine Man, where he says, "My weariness amazes me. I am branded on my feet." I just yeah. love that phrase. I am branded on my feet. But it's, I also it's like. Also, uh, go ahead, please. No, no, no. You go. I also like from uh, uh, Up to Me when he says, um, uh, "I met a." Um, I met a girl face to face. I had to remove my hat. Um, she's everything I need in love, but I can't be phased by that. It frightens me the awful truth of how sweet life can be. She ain't gonna make a move. I guess it must be up to me. But I've always loved it. Frightens me the awful truth of how sweet life can be. Because yeah. to me, it's an accusation by life of how sweet yours could be if you would do the thing that you should do. Yes. It's so, he's so elliptical. But you know, the, the amazing thing about Dylan is that you, you, there's certain songs which you sort of, you, you, you appreciate, but you skim by. And there's always a point in your life where you, where suddenly it's like seeing those, um, those, those very frustrating 3D drawings where everyone goes, magic oh God, eye, there's a tiger the, there. The and magic go, eye poster. <laughs> And all of a sudden you see the tiger. It's, um, it, you know, there's so many of his songs that are like that. Mm -hmm. But I think Don't Think Twice is one of my all-time favorite Dylan songs, and I cannot tell you why. You know, you just kind of wasted my precious time. It's all right. You know, I just think that that's, it's, it's that in suicides that I just find so um, attractive, I guess. We have to take a break, uh, but we'll be right back after these commercials with more The Great Kate Blanchett. Stick around. 